Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena. Hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so, Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. I am about to do my makeup. This is about to be sped up some because, um, well, first of all, it doesn't even take me that long to do my makeup, as you guys are going to see by how short of a clip it's sped up. But I just don't want to do like a tutorial. I just want to be more into the um, actual behind the scenes of how I do my Valentine's Day shoot because I'm doing three pictures three different looks um, so you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna do like a classic red lip for one of the pictures um, so no eyeshadow or nothing actually no I'm gonna do the black smoky eye first so that I can just wipe it off and be done with that and yeah I gotta take three Valentine's Day pictures so if you're interested in seeing how I got these pictures by myself and on a budget then just keep on watching <laughs> So here is the first makeup look okay the same look that I did for my birthday um, I just realized it was the same look as I was doing it <laughs> but I really like the black smoky eye on me so now I'm about to go set y'all up and I think I'm just gonna like prop y'all up so you can see like what the camera sees and yeah let's go okay so here is outfit number one I do have a bra on but it's gonna be covered it's just this black tank top I'm gonna pan down for y'all. Then I have my black underwear on, obviously, and then I have these fishnet tights that I was gifted by this company. I will link it in the description box. Um, yeah, so I just need to lay my edges down some for my braids, and then I'm just gonna like do like a picture, like honing the braids like this. But my feet are gonna be like, y'all can't even see. My feet are gonna be like bended like this. Y'all will see more when I get situated, but yeah. So I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm gonna actually bring my studio lights over. So my studio lights are up now, as you can see the lighting has changed in the room i did get a bouquet of balloons but i want to do that with the um um the next outfit with the red lingerie i got it from um amazon it's right here so here's the red lingerie and i want to do this picture on the bed with white sheets and the balloons um behind me on the bed that's how i'm going to do this one and then that one is not going to have the smoky eye it's just going to have a neutral eye and a red lip so then i have to change my eye makeup for that because i feel like a red lip and smoky eye is kind of bit a little bit too much but these are the only two pictures i can put in my head so i don't know what the third picture is going to be but i'm sure i'll figure it out if you're watching this video i probably figured it out or i probably cut this part out or maybe I just kept it because you know that's just how we are here. <laughs> okay, so another tip. If you have a Canon camera, um, like a DSLR, I use the Canon Rebel T5i. If you have that, then it has a cord that attaches to it. And it looks like, the outlet looks like this. Let me get y'all to see it. 
All right, so the outlet looks like this. And you can plug this end into the camera and this end into the laptop. So I use, um, I use a MacBook. It's right here. And um, basically, when you plug them in automatically, um, it will pop up with the Canon EOS utility. Um, or you could go onto Canon website and actually download that program. If it doesn't pop up automatically, mine did. I don't know how, maybe the previous owner of the MacBook, because this is refurbished. Uh, maybe the previous owner of the MacBook already had um, a Canon, but uh, when I plug this in, it automatically pops up with the app EOS utility, and that is how I'm able to see myself when I take pictures so that I know if I need to move or anything like that. Sometimes I use it for um, the like actual filming, like how how I'm filming right now. But if it's a sit down video like this, I could pretty much use the viewfinder for it because I have my glasses on. But without my glasses, baby girl, we're not getting nothing done. So I need the um, I need the Canon US uh, the Canon EOS utility um, app on it. So I'm just going to attach that down so that I can see myself, and then I'll show y'all what I mean about um, seeing myself. All right, so as you can see, I can now see my um, what the camera is looking at. So y'all are looking, this is like so crazy because it's like camera in the camera in the camera. <laughs> but y'all are looking at what I'm looking at and then um, basically I can adjust all the settings on the Canon EOS utility and everything like that. So let's just go ahead and jump into the pictures. Alright y'all, I can't see so I hope I'm in focus. Um, I switched my earrings out because I think I decided to do, no I don't think, I know I decided to do headshots next. So I ordered some reflector pads from um, Amazon. I'm about to say, what is it called? So, oof, whoa, I didn't expect it to get that big. Okay, so Here's how the first one looks. It's just silver. And so basically I'm gonna have this under my face as I am shooting. Um, if I open this up, there should be other colors in here. Yeah, if I open it up, there's more colors in here. There's a gold side, a completely white to diffuse, and then there's a silver side. So I'm gonna be using the silver side so that the lights will bounce off of me. But I'm gonna set that up on my table and um, yeah. Let's get to it. If you want the links to these reflector boards, they will be down below in the description box. Also, I do have an Amazon storefront now. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so the links are commissionable. I will get a small percentage of the um, of the total of your costs, right? It's not gonna make a change to your uh, price total. So if you don't wanna pay your girl, then do your own research. But I'm over here doing this, you know, I'm doing the research for y'all. So you can just have a girl out and then I'll just keep making videos for y'all like this. So yeah, the link to everything will be down below in the description box as well as my Amazon storefront. And let's get into the next set of pictures. This is a 24 millimeter lens. Um, I'm gonna switch to my 50 mil, which is gonna give me just a real crisp headshot. Y'all gonna see in a second. But this, also this jumpsuit that I'm wearing is from Bel Air & Co. I will have it linked in the description box as well. Excuse my ashy knees. Whoa. <laughs> So I want to put the balloon behind me so that you don't see the window per se when you're looking at me. You just see parts, right? 
And then I need to bring my lighting over here. Yeah, it's really a lot of back and forth with the content creating. <laughs> So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes while I give myself a photo shoot type of thing. As you can see, I did finesse a lot. I did a lot of moving, a lot of, you know, cuts, a lot of, you know, adjustments with the clothing, you know. Um, yeah, but overall, I'm really, really happy with how the pictures looked. And if you didn't see, I don't know if I'm going to put them on the screen as I do it, probably because, you know why not but here are a few of my favorites right here on the screen mm. oh she cute or whatever okay okay so yeah guys remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll make sure to catch up with y'all in the next video bye love y'all happy valentine's day